What's going on everybody? Donovan with Team Tate Outdoors. If this is your first time viewing, hey, go down there, hit the like and subscribe button. Today we are gonna be talking about sausage. Yes, wild hog sausage. And specific sausage, we're gonna be making mong sausage. And mong sausage is a, a sausage that my wife introduced me to. It's from her culture. It's got garlic and ginger, cilantro, and big chunks of pork. We're gonna be making this sausage today. So stick with us. Let's get started. And guess who's gonna be helping me? Elijah's gonna be helping me. Let's get to making some wild hog sausage. Look at the size of these big old pork. Pine quarters. Oh, it looks so delicious. All right, so our first thing to do with this pork is one, get it off the bone, get it cubed up big enough where we can send it down to our grinder. And then once we grind it, we get to mixing it. So I'm gonna get to cutting this up now. And today, while we are uh, cutting up this pork, our, all the girls and Linda and my mom are all gonna be making chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies all for Christmas. So kind of doing multi-use and multitasking in this kitchen today. <laughs> Okay, so right here is what we want to take out. So this is not something you want to grind up. That right there. Okay. Might be in the dishwasher. Grandpa's always using it. Or there's another one. Oh, are you? All right, so here's another one of those. I want to call them lymph nodes, uh, some sort of lymph node in the in the pigs. This is what you want to make sure that you're taking out. Is that thing right there? Yuck. About that. So we actually we're we're mincing the ginger, but first I gotta clean it, peel it, and then cut it up, and then run it through the grinder. What? I'm using the batter, but we're putting the, the, the those on top pieces. of it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. But Dad wants the chocolate chip. Oh, oh they're all right to have a couple of chocolate yeah. pieces. All right. There we go. Get the other bowl. All right, guys, so something you want to do whenever you're doing sausage, make sure that you're taking it apart randomly and cleaning it up because stuff will get clogged on your on your blade and on your whole piece. So make sure you clean that up as you go. All right, that's all. up all the ginger, and now I'm gonna go ahead. My mom said we should probably try to use one of these little bullets. And so we're gonna put all the ginger in this bullet. What are we doing? The pepper must start to be green. Do a little bit of time here. Tighten the blade up. Let's see if this little bullet will work. Reminds me of my bartending days. Just kidding. I never bartended. Yeah. Put it all in there. Mix it up. That's the ginger. Here's some garlic right here. Okay, I need a little bowl. In the bowl. Yeah. 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 Not the inside like this. Linda also just we just bought the garlic instead of cleaning up bulbs and stuff. So she cut the tips off the garlic. We're gonna mince them up in the ninja as well. Yummy. Wow. Not so bad. 
Perfect. No, not this. Well, that's because. That's good. They're in. Yeah. Okay, Linda, Linda chopped up some cilantro. I'm going to add all that cilantro to this bowl and then we'll of it. garlic and ginger. Yeah. Okay. Next, we're going to put oyster sauce. All right, next we're gonna add some fish sauce. Now fish sauce is salty, so you don't wanna add a ton of this, but it's definitely gonna bring out a lot of flavor. And we have a lot of meat to flavor, so. All right, so we got some lime juice. There we go. Kosher salt. Okay, two and a fourth cups of Two fourths. Two and a fourth. Black pepper. That's close. That sounds nice. So what I'm gonna do here, I got a small piece of meat. I'm adding a little of the seasoning and I'm gonna mix it up. Till, it's, till it looks right. And I'm gonna cook a little piece to make sure that the flavor's right. If I think it tastes good, then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up. If I think that it, the sauce needs something, I'm gonna mix more ingredients to the sauce before I mix it with all my meat. And so we just slide the cookie sheet, the paper, the wax paper on the rack. Do it. On them. Mm -hmm. It's a cold day today. It's like <sighs> below 50 degrees. Tomorrow's gonna be in the negatives. Isn't so. it like? Isn't it like 40 degrees outside? It's 30. 30. Excuse me. I gotta put these on. Oh, don't burn your arm. There, Maddie, come put these on too. Oh, I can't put the chocolate on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's it. Okay, put all of them, those on that. Okay. So, what I've done. Like I said, I seasoned it up. I mixed some with this. Is that for the Blind taste one? test. We're gonna let let yes. it try it. Here, let me tell me what it needs. Mmm, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's delicious. Oh, stop. Mm. Oh my God, these are not to eat by itself. It's very salty. The cookies. Ooh, it tastes just like mom's sausage. It is mom's sausage. <laughs> Mm, let's mix it's it up. Good. I don't need to do all of them, do it. Just some of our special sauce in here. About half of it. Oh, you can probably put the brown ones in the oven. While these are in the oven. Alright. Which thing? Alright, now I gotta put a little water on these. I don't want to chop chicken cookies. Brandon can mix it in the outside of it. There we go. Now let's string it up. Let's get to making some sausage. I'll tie a little knot right here. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up tight, just like that. And here we go.
Now we got mong sausage. Look at all that mong sausage. We got a whole bunch of it. Now we're gonna let, we're gonna set it, we're gonna lay it out. We're gonna let that casing soak up that moisture, and then we're gonna be cutting it, tying it off, and we're gonna be doing some cooking. So stick with us. We're gonna have some mong sausage. What makes? And make a little. I don't know. There's a bowl out there. There we go. My sausage. Hang on a minute. Fruit in this place. <laughs> oh, I know. Alrighty. We got our new wave oven here, and we've always used a new wave at our house, and my mom has one. So we got the monk sausage in the new wave. We'll see how it turns out. Should be crispy. Getting it all packaged up here so we can freeze it. Probably a little bit too early. It's supposed to sit, you know, and let it adhere to that um, casing. Let the casing soak up that meat and adhere to it, but we don't have time. This, this ain't our house. This is my mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pan through this one and see how it comes out. All right guys, so we have finished the mong sausage. We cooked some and I'm gonna show you exactly what mong sausage looks like. This is mong sausage from the store. Here is our mong sausage we made from Wild Hog. This is before the casing gets nice and moist and soaks up against the sausage. We rushed this cooking it because my wife wanted some mong sausage to go with this small batch of mong sausage that was thawed out. So guys, Wild hog mong sausage. Our next little piece, once it sits for 24 hours, will be a lot better. But it's still really, really amazing. Here, let's let the kids try. Here, Maddie, try the mong sausage. Okay. Hmm. Is it hot? Mm. Oh. Is there? Is it spicy? No. no. Okay, so that's spicy, but it's 
Do you like the flavor? Need kind of, more fat? It kind of tastes like the rabbit. Okay. Like, last time we ate the um, the rabbit and it... It's a little bit dry. Kind of, this, yeah, this kind of tastes dry like the rabbit. Because it's very lean. We don't have a lot of fat. So, regular mong sausage has giant cuts of fat and gristle in it. Mm. Okay. But we use just the wild hog, everything that we had. Still going to be good, even if we chopped it up and put it in something. It's going to be really good. All right, Ellie, close out the video. Thank you guys for watching so much. Make sure to subscribe if you are already. Hit the notification bell and give us a huge thumbs up. Peace.